G'day everyone, today we're going to quickly go over how to do a picture-in-picture in, picture in vMix, or as the cool kids call them, pips. There are a number of ways to do it in vMix, so if you'd like to jump ahead using the chapters, feel free to do that. Or if you've got a better way, leave us a comment and we'll check that out. So firstly, we're going to talk about overlay channels. Now, each of your inputs in vMix can be put into an overlay channel, and that overlay channel can be a picture-in-picture. Picture. For example, this petrol cam here, if I put it in overlay channel 2, it's a picture-in-picture in, picture in the top corner. So now I'm going to show you how to set that up in vMix. So we need to go down to our overlay channel section, which is down here. And then you need to select one of your overlay channels that you want to use. So I'm just going to use overlay channel 4 for now. Now the type is a picture in picture. So select picture in picture from the drop down. The effect refers to the transition effect. So you can make it a cut. I'd like to use a fade with a just a slow fade. So the effect duration is the transition duration. So if we want to make it half a second, we just make it 500 milliseconds, but you can change this. This is the duration of the fade to fade on and fade off of the overlay. Next, you'll see duration. Now, this is how long the overlay will stay on the program output. So it's zero by default, which means that it is manually toggled on and off when you click the button to turn it on and turn it off again. So you can set a duration here. So I'm just gonna make this 4,000 milliseconds, which is four seconds. Underneath that, you can ignore the stinger section because this isn't a stinger. And then underneath that, you see alpha, which allows you to add transparency, which we don't need to do. Underneath that, on the red here, you'll see the size of the picture in picture. So by using the sliders on the left, it'll change the size and location using the zoom and the pan X and Y of these sliders here. So that'll change the overlay. You can also rotate on different axes by using this slider here. Now to make things easier, you can just click this red box here like so to move it around. And if you hold down the shift key and click it, you can then change the zoom like so. So let's just put this in the bottom uh, corner down here. Now we can also add a border to it if we wanted to, like I showed you with the previous overlay, you can just select the color, thickness and radius. So when you're done, just click okay. So now in overlay channel four, we can put the petrol cam like so, and it's going to be up there for a few seconds and then it's going to fade away. We can do that for this news video as well. So it applies the same overlay properties to each of the inputs that you put in that channel. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a cool feature where you can zoom in and highlight a picture in picture. So let's go back down to our overlay channels. And then what we wanna do is just set the duration to zero, which means that we're manually toggling this. And I'll show you why in just a second. Click okay. So now if I want to use this petrol cam, I'm gonna put it in overlay channel four. So it's gonna stay there until I turn it off. So if I'm talking about it saying, wow, look at the petrol prices, 189.9, that's expensive. I actually wanna take a closer look at that. So I'm gonna right click on the overlay channel four here and that's going to zoom up full screen. So it's still overlay channel four, but it's full screen and I can talk about the petrol prices. And then I can right click the four again to bring it back to the normal position of the picture in picture. So that's a cool little feature that we have available for the picture in picture and then I press it again to turn it off. If you ever wanna preview one of your picture in picture overlays, all you need to do is right click the overlay channel of the input. So if we go down here for the news alert, if we right click number two, it's gonna appear in the preview and as you can see, it's gone orange. And now when I transition the preview to the program output, you'll see that the overlay goes with it. So let's just cut this over. As you can see now it is in overlay channel two and little overlay indicator here has gone green. Another method of adding a picture in picture into vMix is to add a layer to one of your inputs. So for my shot here, if I wanted to add the petrol price permanently as a picture in picture, I can do that via a layer. So I just need to go into the settings of the input and then go down to the layers tab over here. And then what I wanna do is select the petrol price, petrol cam one here, and then I'm just going to resize this to the corner like so. So now I have a picture in picture available as a permanent picture in picture in the production. Now, what if I want to maybe not have that permanently because I wanna use my camera separately to my camera with the picture in picture? Well, you could create a blank input in vMix and then layer everything. You could also right click the little gear icon and create a virtual input and then go to the layers and then add the petrol camera like so, and then move it around. So now we have both our camera and a virtual camera with the picture in picture. 
So those are options. Or again, like I said, you can go to add input and then create a blank input and then start layering your camera and your petrol price camera or your picture in picture that way. Another option to create a picture in picture in vMix is to just create a blank input, layer your inputs onto that and then overlay that as a full screen overlay. Now this does have its advantages because it allows you to sort of line things up a little bit better, but it also means you have to go through and sort of set it up separately. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So firstly, you just go down to add input, then go to color, then go to transparent to create the blank input. Then we just need to layer it. So we go down to the settings and then go to the layers tab. Let's just pick a layer for the petrol camera like so. And what we wanna do is we wanna just zoom this down. Let's just line this up in the top corner in the safe area. And then we're going to select another one. Let's just pick layer seven and we're going to use the news here. Just select it to make sure that it's highlighted and then we just wanna bring this down and then we're gonna put this in the top right hand corner. So as you can see, it's a little bit easier to align the options in vMix by using this way of layering the input. So when you click X up the top, so now we have this as a blank input and now we can just drop this into a full screen overlay channel, which I have created earlier. So I'm gonna hit this in number seven. As you can see now, I've got this particular uh, picture in picture where I've got the two inputs. So this is just a blank input and then I can take it away as an overlay. Now, if you did like this particular layout here, like I showed you, you can always just go to the settings again and then save it as an option. So you can add that as an option. So now that you've got this saved as a template, you can now apply it to different inputs. So you can put your inputs on the different layers and then click on this to set those positions. If you do have any questions about vMix or pictures in pictures or layers or anything like that, feel free to drop us an email via the support page on www.vmix.com. We also have plenty of videos on our YouTube channel that goes over a lot of different other things like overlays and layers and everything. So you can check those out as well. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.